Hey ladies and gents and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kaisha Allen. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the bell notification button to receive notifications for my new videos. Now, let's get into the video. So as you can see from the title, I am doing a collective haul and I feel like this video is really necessary for how much stuff I have. So I'm just going to start off with, I guess, the first place. So it's all in a box, so I'm going to be like reaching down, but it's from Sally's and I have a couple of things. So let me get them. Okay, so the first thing is this BW2 bleach, and that's because I wanted to bleach this wig I have on, like on the, what's it called, the cat part. Yeah, I wanted to bleach it because it literally did not match my skin tone whatsoever, but then I bleached it and now it looks weird, <laughs> so I have this like headband on basically trying to make it look decent make it look like it's a headband wig y'all get what I'm saying but basically that's what I got this for but then the next item is to go along with the bleach which is the developer and I got the 10 volume one I should have got 20 but this is what I got and then the other thing is the shimmer light shampoo for blonde and silver hair so yeah that's what I got and I had to order this separately from the bleach and developer because I forgot it. <laughs> I was about to bleach the wig and it just couldn't happen because I forgot the shampoo. But it's fine. It's fine <laughs> because I got it and I tried to bleach it. Was it an epic fail? Yes, but it's okay. And then the last thing I got from Sally's is this pedicure kit and I haven't used it yet and I'm super excited to actually try to use it. It it used to look like really pretty in the packaging but of course you know me being me I kind of throw things and yeah it ended up like this. But I don't know if I recommend it or not because I haven't tried it. So hopefully it's good. i seen another YouTuber named Destiny, I think that's her name, use this. And she liked it, so I wanted to try it for myself because y'all know I've been having some problems with my feet. So hopefully, you know, it makes it look cute, even though my feet is always in pain. But y'all get what I'm saying. Okay, so the next place is Walmart. So I'm going to move this box so I know what I'm doing. Okay, so with Walmart, it's a little complicated because I went to Walmart and got some things and then while I was at the store, I kind of ordered something and it came to the wrong house and it literally came to the house the same day I was at Walmart. They could have just gave it to me in the store, honestly, but they didn't. So that is basically what happened with that. But the item that I'm talking about is this got to be glued um, blasting free spray. And I kid you not, we were in the store and I was ordering it. And I thought it was going to come in the mail in like two to three days, like always. But no, it came the same day. And I was like, what? That don't even make sense. And then it really upset me because it was in a bag. Like, what? It was confusing, okay? And then they didn't even bring it to my house. They brought it to somebody else's house and they had to give it to me. So I'm like, okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm just over it. But basically, that is what happened with this. And I tried it already, but... It's okay. It's okay. It's an easier way to put on a wig. I can tell you that much because the glue that I use for my actual like wigs is the Isha glue and I can't reach it, but I can reach the, um, what's it called? The spray stuff to take it off. So 
it's literally this stuff so this is basically how to get it off and this brand when I tell y'all the glue sticks I really mean the glue sticks and then this stuff right here if y'all do decide to actually like get this stuff this is not sponsored again not sponsored none of this is sponsored if y'all decide to get this stuff do not spray this in a small area and do not spray it close to your eyes because one this will literally burn your eyes and you'll probably have to go to the hospital to get it fixed and two it's a very strong chemical smell and it burns your nose so I highly recommend if y'all use this be in an open type of area like not too closed in because it will bring like fumes to your body and it's it's a lot it's strong it's like smelling rubbing alcohol straight to the nose like that's literally what it feels like so yeah but I recommend this Isha glue and remover because it works miracles but okay so the next thing is this newer thing I was trying out and it's called vital proteins collagen peptides I think that's how you say it and this is something I saw on another YouTuber's video and basically she has gallbladder problems like me and she ended up getting hers removed and I was looking at her video and she was talking about how she put this in her smoothie and some other vitamins and basically it's to help with the gut basically and I wanted to see if it'll help me but y'all I tried to put this in coffee and it was disgusting okay it literally clumped like clamped clumped up together in the milk and the powder here no but regular drink like water or like tea or just excuse me random drinks is better than coffee do not mix it with milk any kind of milk any kind of coffee no but i mean it works so far i mean i don't see a huge difference in my stomach like i still have my stomach pains but they're not as bad as they used to be if that makes any sense but it also could be because i had some gallstones taken out so i don't know but that's what I'm working with but hopefully I can get my gallbladder removed because listen I'm tired of this pain I'm tired we're tired and when I say we're I'm talking about me my stomach and my mind we all tied because it's just too much <laughs> it's just too much but the next thing is after I take all of this away and put it over here so I can keep up with what I showed y'all and what I had it is basically a bunch of like random stuff I'm not even gonna kid you so some of this stuff is from forever 21 some of this stuff is from Walmart so yeah I think I'm stick with Walmart first and then go to forever 21 type of stuff so from Walmart I got a couple of things I'm super excited because y'all know black is like my favorite color besides pink obviously black and pink y'all get it but basically I got these shorts and they're super cute if I remember I'm going to put like a side-by-side -side picture or video or something or even a clip after this or before this of me actually wearing it so this is what they look like So yeah, as y'all can see, they're really short and I wasn't expecting them to be high-waisted. This is why reading is fundamental to the brain. Because I thought these were just regular, you know, like, shorts that go up underneath your stomach. Like, your hip, you know? That's what you're supposed to do. But no, these are high-waisted, which means they're super short on me. And if I would have known that they were high-waisted, I would have went a size up. Because with Walmart's like pants and jeans and shorts and stuff, I have to size up because if I don't, I'm basically going to have both of my butt cheeks out. And we don't want that. Just saying. At least I don't. Some male species out there and some females may want to see butt cheeks out, but not me. So, 
<laughs> that is basically what these look like and how they fit. But these are a size. Let's see if I can even find the size. This is really me. A size 16. And they're, you know, snug. So that makes me wonder, like, am I just gaining hips? <laughs> like, am I gaining a booty? Can we gain a booty? I need that in my life. Y'all just don't know. But, yeah. I highly recommend these shorts, though, because they're super cute on. It's just, I was surprised that they were high-waisted. So, yeah. But then the next item is, again, love the color black. Is these black skinny jeans? And I don't think these are high-waisted, but they might be. Probably, knowing me. Yep, high-rise skinny. So yeah, they're just regular high-rise skinny jeans. Nothing special. There's no like crazy details or anything. They're just your basic pair of jeans, but in the color black. But yeah, these actually don't fit me as good as I want them to, which is weird. So... I'm always like in between the sizes 14 and 16 at any store I go to. It doesn't matter if I'm going to like a plus size section in like a straight retailer store or a plus size store. I am always in between 14 and 16. So for me to not be able to fit a 14 was a little odd for me, not gonna lie. But that just means either my hips are getting bigger or <laughs> I'm just gaining weight. But if it's my hips getting bigger, I'm all for it. Because listen, my body is just not proportionate and I need it to work. Because I need a booty, okay? That's what I need in my life. But yeah, these, I mean, they feel comfortable on except for the fact they're a little small. But if they were a little bit bigger, these would probably be like my favorite pair of jeans, honestly. And y'all know I don't really wear jeans like that. I'm more of a sweatpants and leggings type of female. So for me to say like I like some jeans, that means they're comfortable. They really are. But for me, you know, my stomach is just not working with me. But the next item is these random like high-rise fitted leggings I picked up I didn't even like try them on or anything again we're with COVID um problems here so I'm like terrified to do anything that has a lot of people touching stuff so yeah but these are regular just leggings like black high-rise leggings and again I live in leggings and sweatpants this is what I wanted but yeah these cost $5.96 so yeah I wish it was a little bit cheaper but who knows so the next item which is almost the last item from Walmart but technically I can show these together because they all technically the same thing so I have these like tank tops you can never have too many tank tops and the one thing I like about these tank tops is the actual like adjustable strap because like with the straps here this is also I believe from Walmart if I'm not mistaken but these straps right here you can't adjust these so when it stretches out you can't really like have it together on your shoulder it just keeps falling and that's what I really hate about like spaghetti strap shirts because it is hard to do okay it's just hard unless you make it like a racer back but who wants to do that that's too much if you're paying for a spaghetti strap shirt you should be able to just wear it as a spaghetti strap shirt and not have to wear it as a racer back but that's just a pet peeve of mine but <laughs> I like how it has the adjustable straps and I got it in this like light pink color because why not and it also matches the next shirt that I'm gonna be showing y'all but this is a size extra large, which is a 16, 18. So I know this will fit. But then I got the same thing, just a different color. And y'all know it had to be black. It had to be black. So yeah, it's nothing special. It's just a regular black spaghetti strap. So 
The next thing, which is the last thing from Walmart, is this strange shirt. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's a little strange. So, this is basically what it looks like. And I don't even know if y'all get the full gist of what it really looks like. But basically, I'm going to obviously have it on the screen somewhere or put it right here. So, yeah. It's, it's a little weird. And I think it's because I got the wrong size. And I think if I would have gotten, like, maybe a size bigger, it might fit differently. Or even a size smaller. I don't know. But I liked it because of the pattern because I'm like really into certain patterns and this one is super cute but when I first was looking at it I thought somebody was like ripping all of the seams out of it and that's because I don't know if it'll show up on the camera but like right here it's like this little detail. And it's like a square and I thought all of them were just like ripped up but in reality it's a stitching pattern that they have on all the shirts and I think it's super cute so yeah it's a little flowy but it's a little small and big I don't know how to explain it excuse me I don't really know how to explain it but it's super cute so I went to get it so I got it <laughs> just being honest but now on to Forever 21. So I only got three items from there, I believe. Yeah, three items from there. And the first thing is this super cute crossbody bag. And I liked it the most because of the um, strap itself. Because obviously it's a chain. And I really needed a crossbody bag because... I like to walk places and I need to be able to have my bag in front of me when I'm walking because I walk around a lot of people. So for safety reasons and for me to be able to reach my stuff if I need to, that is the best thing in the world. Crossbody bag. So I got that and I got it really cute and I think it was on sale. I think. Who knows. But it's super cute so I got it. But Layla is going to probably start growling and barking. And y'all just have to excuse her. My window is open like my curtain. So they see everything I see. So the next thing is sadly. And I'm saying sadly because it doesn't fit. This bodysuit. And I don't know what it is about me and bodysuits at Forever 21. But I just can't find my size. So I have one bodysuit from Forever 21 and it's a knitted one and it's also black. Y'all know black is my color. So I got that in a size 0X and that was before I knew the sizing of Forever 21 and all that stuff. So it never really fit. And then I was like, okay, let me try to go to a 1X because again, that's literally been my size for every store I go to. So I tried to get a 1X, right? So, the front part, like up here, it fits, but it's not fitting. Like, I'm going to stand up and show y'all. So, like right, like when you put it here, it literally does not fit right here. <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain it. But basically, it clamps and everything but it's like super baggy at the bottom so it doesn't actually sit on my skin it's like hanging in midair and that is what I was trying to avoid by getting the one x so I was super sad to know that it didn't fit so I'm wondering is all their bodysuits like that am I the only one struggling like am I in between sizes I don't know but it's weird because the top part fits perfectly fine perfectly fine it's just the bottom part it's just super big and it could be because I'm short and I understand that but at least put on like you know the measurements that this is not for short people like I'm just struggling it feels like every time I get something from Forever 21 that is a bodysuit I literally can't fit it and it's irritating but I'm going to keep it obviously because it's been weeks now since I've like actually ordered this 
and I lost a receipt and the tags are off of it and everything. So I'm just going to keep it and just keep washing it and drying it and hoping for the best. And hopefully one day it fits me like the other one. But the last item, I think, I think we're at the last item. Yep, is these jeans and y'all. So y'all might have heard that it's my air freshener. Excuse it, and I'm probably gonna get choked up in a little bit. But um, this is a pair of jeans, regular skinny jeans, and they're high waisted. But these are a size 14, and these fit like a glove. Fit like a glove. That's the best thing to say. Now remind y'all, I was struggling with Walmart's uh 14, 16 pants. Forever 21, 14 fits like a glove make it make sense this is why i'm always struggling trying to find clothes y'all i really am like walmart's clothes they're supposed to be bigger <laughs> they're supposed to be bigger and they're not like their sizing is confusing and then forever 21 sizing is confusing for me because of the whole bodysuit thing yeah so it's just like what in the world but i'm gonna show y'all a clip of what i look like with these jeans on so y'all can see that it fits right here so yeah that is basically the last item i had for this collective haul and y'all it was basically like a hit or miss for me for this haul like y'all seen i was struggling <laughs> with some of this stuff and it sucks because I know in most stores I'm a 14, 16. And it's hard to get just a 14 or just a 16 because some places run bigger than the others and some places run smaller than the others. But it's hard to find out what you can fit if you're nervous to go into dressing rooms or if they're closed because of, you know, COVID. So it's like, what do you do? Other than spend money on clothes and hope they fit and then when they don't fit you just sit there and be like wow I just wasted $20 on clothes or I just wasted $100 on clothes. I don't know. But basically it's hard for me because the sizing is always different. Like every store you're either gonna well I'm either gonna be 14 or 16. And some stores, they have it to where it's like 14-16. And I'm just like, okay, we're working there. They know I'm struggling. They know it. But then there's stores where you just have to question. Like, am I really not fitting in this 14? Or am I really not fitting in this 16? And then you're just like, well. <laughs> so, I don't know. And it kills me because most places I shop at, they have plus size sections and not necessarily a full on plus size store. And that could be where I'm going wrong with all of this because at regular plus size stores, like they only sell plus size clothing. I am typically a 14 and that's why I like going to plus size stores. And not only do they have like in my opinion cuter stuff but they also know that we're plus sized like they know what is gonna look cute on a plus size body and they're not gonna have you out there looking like who shot John and why but that is just my opinion honestly like that's one of the reasons why I want to own my own clothing store for plus size women and I also want to own my own bridal store for plus size women. And I know y'all are probably like what? But yeah, I want to own both because I feel like every female that's plus size has gone through at least once in their life where they wanted something and they couldn't fit it and they were just like wow, am I really that big or wow, they couldn't put bigger sizes like it puts a problem in your heart because you think something's wrong with you and then you want to work out all the time and do the most trying to lose weight. But in reality, it's the industry's fault. It's never your fault. So, 
I'm getting emotional. But yeah, that is basically this collective haul and this little rant that turned into like a whole motivational speech. But yeah, that is what I have for y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn on my post notifications to be notified when I post my next video. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, bees and gents.